Hey there, Ramon Uso with you here, and in this video I want to show you why a great kick serve can be the one shot in your arsenal that is a complete difference maker, and help you get to the next level in your game in the process. So what I've done is scoured YouTube and found some good video footage that we'll watch together here on my computer. And what we've got is a 3.5 player going up against a 4.0 player. And what we're going to do in this video is look at some of the points and see why the kick serve was really the determining factor in who won this match. So let's dive in. First off, I want to thank uh, Chisnowich. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Probably just butchered it, but he gave us this awesome footage. And what we've got is the 4.0 player in yellow, awesome color by the way, and the 3.5 player in black. And as we're watching this together, I want to kind of give you a tale of the tape. So you're going to notice as we're watching here that both of these guys have pretty good forehands. They both have pretty fast serves and they'd probably even give the first serve power advantage to the 3.5 player in black. Movement and fitness wise, I'd probably give a pretty significant edge to the 3.5 player in black. You know, throughout the match, he generally has better speed and tends to be in better position to hit the ball. Their backhands are roughly on the same level. That means the main difference that I wanna focus on in this video is the quality of the second serve or the kick serve. So let's go through a few points here and just watch what happens. Now, one thing you're gonna notice right off the bat is the yellow dude's kick serve allows him to consistently serve with a great deal of confidence throughout the match because he knows in the deepest part of his mind that he's got a very firm grasp on an effective kick serve. And that allows him to go for more and not worry about double faulting. Not only does he win a lot of easy points on his serve this way, like you're seeing here, but he only double faulted once this entire match. Whereas the dude in black, powerful as his first serve is, has multiple double faults, including a few on game point. And you and I both know just how frustrating it is to double fault a whole game away. It just feels like a complete waste. Now, the other thing you're going to notice is how rarely the 3.5 player can actually attack the 4.0 player's serve. If you contrast that with our player in black here, missing his first serve by a mile and getting his second serve absolutely pounded. Now here's something else. You'll see here the yellow player getting free points on his kick serve, even when he uses it as his first serve. You see him catching the black player off guard here routinely. This was actually a big aha moment for me personally because I didn't learn the kick serve until years after I had a pretty decent flat serve. But this serve tends to produce a lot of errors, the kick serve, because the amount, of, the amount it moves before and after the bounce. Now watch this, a little bonus tip here. You're noticing here how often yellow hits the kicker out wide in the ad side. This is a serve that if you can really own, if you can really master it, just gives you so many advantages. First off, this is the side of the court where you're playing all of your important points. Add, you know, the add points and the break points. And being able to hit that kicker out wide gets the ball up on most players' backhand, which is usually their weaker side. It pulls them off the court, and unless they have a great backhand return, gives you an opportunity to either put the ball away or at the very least seize control of the point, which is awesome. Now in doubles and singles, it allows you to also hit a very high percentage of first serves in the court, which immediately takes your opponent out of attack mode and puts them in react mode which is exactly where you want them to be. Now you might be saying, Ramon, I'm sold, but show me how to hit this kick serve. Well, in the next video, in this little training series, I'm gonna show you my two absolute favorite drills, sort of starting drills for actually developing a kick serve, get you the ball spinning and show you how to do it one step at a time. As you may or may not know, I've created this training series as a celebration of the release of my new course, The Simple Kick Serve, where I literally lay out a simple, proven, step-by-step -step blueprint to put together a killer kick serve in the shortest amount of time possible. It's a compilation of sorts of all the best tricks and tips that I've learned from the best coaches in the world, neatly packaged into one simple system that you can put to work for you to get the kick serve you've always wanted. So if you're on my email list, I'll be emailing you some more information about it soon. And if you'd like to check it out now, there's a link below where you can do that. Thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you and watching these matches as I always do with you. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this kind of stuff. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them in the days and weeks ahead. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.